Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back to my channel. So I was finishing up, or am, not was, present tense, am, finishing up a baby book for my niece. And they have chosen not to know if the baby's a boy or a girl until um, he or she is born. So I was kind of given free reign. <laughs> So I went with kind of a nursery rhyme, fairy tale, kid story kind of a thing. And um, I did not use any like tea stained paper. It's all, I'll show it here. It's all just, you know, paper and cardstock because they're gonna want to uh, put photos on the pages. And so I did do some, some little kids poems and some little, um, like there's the ABC song and then I did some artwork um, there's lots of stuff in here but it's very it's very um, baby nursery rhymey <laughs> so that's kind of what I went with so um, what I thought I would do is make like a raggedy place card and it's kind of like a bookmark well you know what my raggedies are right so we're gonna make kind of a raggedy place card so that um, she can keep track of, of where she is. Sound good? Sound, sound good? And don't ask me about the cover because I haven't done it yet. I have some ideas in my head, but that's as far as it has gotten. So I have some um, scrapbook like, like cardstock and I've got some pieces of book pages and I've got some glassine stuff that we made a couple weeks ago and what else have I got? I've got some Florentine paper. I don't know. I just kind of grabbed a handful of stuff and figured we would we would figure it out as we went along. That's that's usually how I roll. This was the um, the thicker painters masking paper. Turned out really well though. And then this was the tissue paper, the like the gift the gift wrap tissue paper. Yeah. So, is everybody doing well? Is everybody is everybody okay? I have a headache today. Like a pretty significant thumper going on in my head for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. I was listening to music because I like to do that while I'm in here working. And um, I have like a playlist on YouTube that I let, you know, kind of, you know, do its thing. And I start thinking, oh my gosh, all these people are dead. <laughs> it was like all these, you know, great artists that, you know, I listen to or have listened to or, you know, because your, your tastes can change. But I, you know, Chester Bennington and Chris Cornell and Prince and Aaliyah and Shannon Hoon and... You know, all those people that that you thought would be around for like a really good long time. They're just, they're gone. And it made me sad. And then I was thinking, you know what? It's like, you know those those um, artists, rock stars, musicians, what you know, whatever they are. Um, you know, the ones that live really, really hard. Like, live, like, they're on drugs and they're like, you always see them doing crazy things. And, you know, we're talking... Axl Rose and Billy Idol and, you know, Ozzy. Well, used to be Ozzy. I don't know if he, he's probably not so crazy anymore. Um, uh, you know, Steven Tyler, <laughs> oh, Britney Spears, bless her heart. Um, 2007 was rough on Britney. Uh, Marilyn Manson, all these, all these, you know, people with crazy lives or seemingly crazy. You, you didn't think they were going to make it past 30 and they're still kicking. And then, and then the ones that you were like, really? Chester Bennington? <sighs> some of you will go, yeah, oh, I know. And some of you be like, what? <laughs> All right, so I've got some little um, of the little fern. They're just little silk, little fronds of sorts. And I kind of wanted that to stick out the top. I have like a little tab punchy so that it'd be easy to see as well. So I just kind of want to build the base, whatever's gonna be on, on the bottom. So I shall do that. 
I think I'm going to put a little bit of this um, tissue paper stuff, you know, stuff. So I stopped listening to music because kind of was a little depressing, especially when um, Blue October Hate Me came on. I was like, oh, okay, this one's good. And he's not, he didn't die, but his mom did. And and the the video is really telling because he had he had a really bad drug addiction and and his mom was always trying to help him to you know get past that and you know and of course when you're in the middle of an addiction like that you know people don't you're not thinking straight you know people don't think straight and it's not that he didn't love his mom it's just you know at that moment whatever he was escaping from was just too much for him to you know to get over and but at the it shows at the end that she passed away so it was it was really really sad and I'm like yeah I'm just going to <laughs> gonna turn this off now and I'm gonna make a raggedy and not be so wow I'll put a I'll put a link down below <laughs> you guys can you guys can sit there and I'm not a I'm not like a sobby person I don't I'm not you know I don't watch chick flicks I don't I don't cry at movies I you know I I guess it's because I can I don't know I turn that stuff off I can you know separate com compartmentalize I guess is what you could say and um but still don't like to be sad like <laughs> jeez okay I think I'm gonna put um this here and start building some layers. And on the back side of this card, I may put like something for note taking. You know, like maybe um, uh, what was happening, you know, the date or something specific that they might wanna remember about what what it was or when it was that they were you know documenting whatever it was <laughs> sorry to be so vague i'm really heavy mcdumpy on you guys today with like sadness and then i get all all vague it's the headache it's the headache okay let me grab maybe i never i never have anything right where i need it <sighs> or in my eyesight oh there it is I knew it was right there. And then I think I'll put this over the top just to give it a nice little base of sorts here. So this book, because I made it out of um, paper that's not tea stained, you know how uh, just flat paper that hasn't been wet down in <laughs> coffee or tea solution and then dried, it's not crinkly crumply and it's not as bulky because it lays you know it lays flat it doesn't um it doesn't have that extra uh heft to it because it hasn't the texture hasn't been changed so um it's like it's like you have to you have to you have to kind of you have to gauge because she's going to want to add um like photographs and you know little mementos and stuff so you want to leave enough enough room, right? Um, and because the tea stain paper is bulkier, sometimes you can't get as much um, bound into a book because then it ends up being, you know, like like this, right? So same thing can happen even with flat paper that you don't allow enough room in between the signatures or too many pages per signature. And then that way when stuff is added to the book, because this back here, this is what's sewn in, so this stays stationary, but so this is what bulks out, right? So it's a it's a fine line that you gotta you gotta walk on because you gotta leave enough room for things to be added, but you don't want it too sparse and you don't want it too full. And of course you never know because you know, people, you don't know what people are going to add. You can add whatever they want, right? So, it was just something I was thinking about today. I was like, oh, 
don't know how much she's going to want to add. I have no idea. No, no clue. I have no clue about a lot of things. Surprise, surprise! Okay, so this is kind of my little, my little base here. And I wanted to put on one of these child verses. One's a butterfly and one's a honeybee. And come on, camera. Boop. Just read it to you. Camera is not cooperating. Um, oh, honey, be goodbye. Your weapon's gone, and you and Anon are doomed to die. But death to you can bring no second sting. Well, that's sad. Butterfly, butterfly, sipping the sand. Have you forgotten the flowers of the land, or are you so sated with honey and dew that sand filtered water tastes better? To this is better. Holy cow! Put the bee one away. <laughs> So let me grab some of the uh, butterfly wings then, wherever it, it is that they went. These are dragonfly wings, but I had butterfly, there we go, there's one. This is a big one, that's a big one. All right, all right, all right. So here's this one, is there another one? Cause this is like the left side. I wanted the right side, the right side. It was, there it is. Because I kind of want that hanging out so that it'll kind of hang out the book. Does that sound feasible? Does that rock your world? And then I might do some kind of like a little stripity stripe here with this um, paper and then I'll sew on it maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, she doesn't know what color she's going for with the baby's room, so I just, you know, I could kind of do what I wanted. It was kind of awesome. kind of liked it. kind of like it. So I may hang this on here. And what I might do on this side is make like a little banner, like little, you know, the, what are these things called? Little, little ribbon, cut ribbon thingy. Can you guys see okay? It's like this camera is not like, um, oh, I know, I know why. Because it's okay down here, I think though, right? I had the autofocus off. Good job, Nick. Good, good job, good job, good job. I'm gonna try not to die here. I think you can see. I hope you can see. It would really like chap my hide if you couldn't because sometimes it takes me so long to even like get my brain together to like make a video. It's like, no, when they like fail because they fail. Let me tell you, they fail. But I think it's okay. okay. Tell you, I sabotage myself like you would not believe. Does anybody else do that? Just in, you know, in life, in general, I think we're good. Think. Okay, so what was I doing? What was it? What was it that I was doing? The thing that I was that I was doing? I'm going to put this on the paper. The paper, and put this back where I wanted it to be. Can you see this? Um, in this, this vicinity, I think. I think that's good. And then I will stick, maybe stick a stitch in that. I mean, I don't have to. She doesn't care one way or another. I'm sure. Do you, Maxie? You don't care? <gasps> okay. She's like, I care. I so care. And... So here's my my little butterfly wings because I want my sorry should, should I zoom should I zoom in oops stop stop shaking um so I kind of want the little the little butterfly verse to be down there and I want 
maybe some little bits of, of bits coming out the bottom. Do I want to ink this? Yes, of course I do. Do I have ink handy? No, no, I do not. <laughs> ink. I couldn't find any. And this is also, this is one I use um, when Tuesday morning has it because it's $1.99 and it's it's made by Ranger. It's very much like Distress Ink. So, I don't know. You tell me, Ranger. I'm sure there's a difference. Okay. So, it is, it is inked now. There is some inkage going on. So, I'm just going to kind of... Oh, if I have like weird... Sorry, weird hairs. I washed my hair and then... I think I've got this hair poking out here. I, I washed my hair and then it went up into like a... a like a knot on top of my head and I went to bed and then when I woke up it was like whoosh and I just didn't have the um, energy to tame it so it, it, it is what it is it am what it is okay so I like this and I might I might add some dragonfly wings too just to do it I don't want to make it too you know crazy. She's not, she's not a junk journaler. So if I make something too crazy, she'd be like, I don't even know what to do with this. What is this thing? I'll have to send like little post-it notes with little written instructions on, okay, so technically this is how we use these, you know, we being, you know, all y'all and me. This is, this is what we do. And I, you know, so I don't want to get too crazy. I'm not good at writing notes and that kind of thing anyway. I'm just not. So I'm going to add some glue, I think, to... The, I think I just really like the wing right here. So we're just going to commit. Go ahead and commit to that. And boom. Oh, just like that. And then I want to add some greenery. But I don't want to just shove it. <laughs> Sounded I want to just shove it. Um, so, I would like to make maybe some kind of a textile element here. Maybe. Did I bring anything over? Maybe something. Or, oh, I know what I do have somewhere. Hold on. Hold, hold that. Oh, I thought it was my hair again. Hold that thought. Okay. So what I like about um, like soft textile elements is that if you try to put something kind of 3D underneath paper, it'll buckle and fold. But um, textile elements are, you know, they're more forgiving. All right. So I think... My brain has decided to layer these two things up and maybe run a stitch through the middle. Maybe. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna run I'm gonna run a stitch around this and then also a stitch a stitch through this. So we're still recording over here. Oh, I forgot my other thing. Hold on. My sewing machine and I had a discussion this morning. A thread tension discussion. It was it was just too tense, man. It was just too tense. It's like, what is wrong? Why are you so anxious? Because the thread was balled up. It's like you weren't like this the other day. So we had to come to Jesus. It was alright. It, it it's better now. All right, so you can't see a whole lot of the, you know, the flowery fabric behind it, but that's not, it's not really the plan. At least that's my story. So what I want to do is kind of have some greenery like happening over here. 
a little bit and then I will do some kind of a some kind of a thing I'll, sh I'll show you when I figure it out <laughs> so I need glue apparently I need some glue and so over here I don't think this greenery is really going to be like coming off the side of the page too much I'm gonna have to hold it forever uh, I should have thought that through hot glue would have been much better. You can see, I'm like off camera. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so stay. And then I think what I want to do is some kind of a little, um, where you where you turn them in and then they have it's like kind of like a bow kind of like a bow of sorts and then it gets glued and like scrunched in the middle it's kind of like making a bow tie pasta kind of now if I had a string I do what do I do well I have some waxed linen this will work. Gosh, it's hot in here for some reason. I don't know why it's so warm. And you guys know, I'm like never warm. Like I'm always cold. So if, so if I'm hot, you know, it's warm. <laughs> um, this room doesn't get, um, the air conditioning like the others. It's furthest away from the, from the vents and stuff. And so I think that's part of the problem. And then the lights are not, you know, cool. Well, they're LED. They shouldn't, they're not hot, but they're not, y you know, <laughs> like preaching to the choir here. Like, I know what an LED, LED light is, Nick. You do not have to explain. Okay, so I'm just going to do like a little, a little cinchy cinch in the middle. And it's going to get um, glued down, so it's not like it needs to, it's not like the cinches, the tie around the middle is really holding it much. These are like the most worthless scissors ever. Okay, so then that will get like placed over the top of the greenery so that, you know, you don't have the little glued edges sticking, sticking out. Is this in the way? Kind of like, kind of like that. And it'll stick up a little bit, you know, the, the bow. That's okay. So kind of a little 3D effect there. And then maybe, and I know they're not butterfly wings, so, you know, the, uh, the dragonfly police um, don't come and get me, but I wanted to kind of place one over over the top of here just to give it some some interest of some kind. And kind of tuck that right in there and have it overlapping some of the words. Just a tiny, tiny little bit of glue. This, um, the three in one or fabric tack, it, it does pretty well under the glassine because it's, it's clear. So it doesn't like stand out too much. So, you know, win, 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 win. Oh, there it is. So here's the, here's another little, if I wanted to add, you know, like two, it might make it look more butterfly-ish, esque. I did not cut that great. So I'm going to kind of sneak that right in like so. There we go. See, now it's focusing. 
All right, so now all I want to do, I just very simply, very, very, very simply, oh, the glue is everywhere. I just want to put a tab up on the top just for a, um, I just want to put a tab up on top just so, um, you know, she can, or he, whoever is, you know, inscribing can see it right away and grab it. Grab it, grab it. Mm -hmm. Cute. And if I was, if I were a rich man, I'm going to I'm going to glue those in just for giggles. Just for giggles. Put some glue on both of them so they both stay in there. We're just going to be real careful with it until it the glue does its, you know, its thing. All right. I like that. I like it. I like it. It's not overly over. It's not, you know, it's not too fluffified. And then on this side, I will um, get a, just a piece of note card, something that I can just add to the top. Ooh, I know what I have. Just something to take notes on. Sound like a good idea? I wonder if everything is still recording. So when I get this baby book done, I'll, I'll show you guys. I was supposed to have this done weeks ago. But y'all know my life, so you know why that didn't get done. Oh. Go. And I'm just going to pop that puppy right here kind of covers the stitches from the other side which is not necessary but kind of encases everything all right so here is the finished little place card little mi mini raggedy because it's not like super raggedy it's just like sort of raggedy some somewhat raggedy and of course, you know, the, the booger glue gets everywhere. Oh well, they're having a baby. They're gonna know boogers. Okay, so it's got the little butterfly poetry, little poem, little thingy. And then it's got, you know, some greenery and some little wing wangs, and then some more wangs, and um, a little tab, and then the note card. And what I might do just to really fluff it up a bit is I might put the other set of wings just kind of pair them up I think that would be a fantastic idea just fan flipping tastic so I want to tuck it underneath here though but foresight would have been would have been great okay though so this is how we learn this is how we learn or this is how we we always say that we'll we'll remember and we will learn from this experience and then we just never do that happens too. That, that's definitely, definitely a thing. Yeah, so now we've got this 3D, 3D wang effect here. It's fabulous. So we've got the little cute, right? And then on this side, it's kind of tucked underneath the little note card part, but it wouldn't have to be. You could even sew around the edge of that and you could just sew in the extra little wings. So kind of makes them a little bit more sturdy, although you guys know that once you do the glassine effect, kind of sturdies it up. It's a new verb, sturdies. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for um, hanging out with me today and uh, making a place card raggedy, a quasi bookmark raggedy place card. I think that's a win. Everybody would remember that name. 
That is marketing. That is marketing. All right, guys, I will see you um, really, really soon in the next video. Bye, guys.